Welcome to Pak Tam Chung and the start of Hong Kong's most famous hiking route, the McElhose Trail. We'll take you along the path that spreads the width of Hong Kong, showing all of its beauty and diversity. We'll pass the white features of Tai Lon Sai Wan, the sweeping views of Lion Rock and Mao Shan, Hong Kong's highest mountain, Tai Mo Shan, and finish in Tun Mun. That's a long way to go, so we better get started. The McElhose Trail is almost 100 kilometers long. That's a little over 60 miles. But don't worry, it's easy to find your way. Every 500 meters or so, you'll find a McElhose marker a bit like this. We're now on the West Dam, the first really beautiful spot of the trail. Off to your right, you have the islands of Sai Kung, surrounded by the shimmering sun. And off to the left, there's a reservoir with the mountains in the background that we'll soon be hiking through. The trail is named after Sir Murray McElhose, Hong Kong's longest serving governor. An avid hiker, he constructed it in the 1970s, but it really became famous in the 1980s through the Oxfam Trailwalker. The non-stop 100k trail race was always won by the Gurkha soldiers. An elite runner might finish in under 18 hours, but these days, just as a marker of how far trail running has come, the winners sometimes take 11 or 12 hours. Hong Kong is now almost synonymous with the outdoors and hiking, but that wasn't always the case. The McElhose Trail was the first major government project to get Hong Kongers outdoors. After the dams, you get into the real beautiful parts of the McElhose Trail, the mountains, and you're treated to views like this, which make you feel more like you're in a remote part of Thailand than Hong Kong. The beaches on section two are some of the most beautiful in the world. It's hard to believe that this is right on our doorstep in Hong Kong. The Mac Pahos Trail actually goes around behind the beaches, but I always think it's worth taking a trip through them because they're so stunning. And if you're hungry, there's a great couple of restaurants down the end of the beach to serve a good, cheap, quick meal. This is section four of the McElhose Trail and it really is the most spectacular in my opinion. I absolutely love it. You've got the iconic distinctive peak of Mao Shan up on one side and up ahead you've got this beautiful ridge with Sai Kung off to your left and these mountains off to your right. It's all quite flat and actually I find it a bit too tempting so I end up running all of this usually just because it's so, so beautiful. After about 1.8 kilometers of walking along McElhose 5 from the Lion Rock Arch, take a bit of a detour these stairs if you want to be treated to one of the best views in the city.
For many, Lion Rock offers more than a view. It represents Hong Kong's work ethic and spirit, steadfast in any storm. On section six of the Maclos, you're likely to see some pretty cool wildlife. Some monkeys. Now, as cool as they are to look at, they can be a little bit vicious. So make sure you don't eat any food near them or they will come for it. And for the love of God, please don't feed them on purpose. It's very dangerous. Maclehose Stage 7 is home to the most notoriously difficult climb on the whole trail, Needle Hill. So we're in for a bit of a tough time ahead. Let's see how hard it really is. Oh, well, that certainly lived up to its reputation. It's a notoriously difficult climb. But with most things on the Maclehose, the effort is worth it for the view. If you thought the hard work was over, I'm sorry to say that you're mistaken. Section 8 takes you up to Tai Mo Shan, a boulder strewn climb, which is pretty cool and offers some pretty unique views the last big climb of the Maclehose Trail, so we better get on with it. We did it! The top of Tai Mo Shan, Hong Kong's tallest mountain and the highest point on the Maclehose Trail. It's often covered in clouds like it is today, so the view can be tempered, but the sense of accomplishment is always extreme. It's downhill from here, basically. Looking forward to finishing this trail. We're coming along section 10 of the Maclehose Trail now, which means we are nearing the finish of our journey. A little bit sad for it to end after all those glorious trails. But I can see the city of Tun Mun below us now, which means the end is nigh. So here we are at the end of the Maclehose Trail. There's a rather inconspicuous finish for such an iconic route, but it's a fitting metaphor for Hong Kong with its jarring contrasts of country trail and urban center. But at the end of the day, we really are blessed to have such an amazing trail route right on our doorstep in Hong Kong.